Hi people, this is G over at Round Table in Gio's Real World. Don't make me spell it out again. And today will be Gio's version of Superman, the movie number two. So now we're gonna go like example. We'll start as you see the movie example in the movie. Okay, I'll show you the screen. It's called it's written like now. Okay, and you see this motorcycle just flying through space. It's stopping, and there's just these. Uh, yeah, you, you probably understand where I'm going with this, but you don't see the person. Only a true fanatic will know who it is, okay? And it stops in space with all these asteroids around, and, and there's a space dolphin, dead. So he picks it up, and you just see its white skin. And I want to show how he looks completely yet, okay? And he's picking up, he's going, who did, who killed this person? You just see the other, the other star dolphins talking, eh, 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 talking to him, and there's that. And you kind of see teardrops on the dolphin. Now... He's going to deny, he's going to say because he was sweating, or it's saliva. Let's leave it at that, okay? So now Lo, now, okay, I'm going to say this. his name is Lobo, okay? Now Lobo, he goes, I want revenge. Somebody hurt my family, and goes blood for blood. But you don't see him still. You're going to see him later on, okay? And then he, he doesn't smell the nose, like he's tracking, and he, and he sees the energy rays around it okay and there's dead soldiers around it in space flowing dead he got killed and then he starts spotting the energy spaceships energy flow he says he's okay he's, he's one of the best trackers in the, in, in the galaxy okay or the universe how you prefer quadrum whatever you want to call it so he spots and he re, re retracts the way it was one spaceship arrives there was already two spaceships it was the original one then there was this pirate ship that stopped it, and then there was this other spaceship that came in. And then, and he, and he goes, and he knew where to go. He splits, bang. Now it goes to minus 80 hours. And that's, you see, a pirate ship is, is locking onto the other ship, a uh, cargo ship or, or luxury sh spaceship, whatever. And they're going inside because they, they wanted them. And they're the ones who killed one of the dolphins. The other ship that comes in is Superman's spaceship. Now, Superman, you see when he's when he's when he when he's flying the spaceship, well, what he's able to do, you see there's all different art, uh, artifacts and everything, uh, computer systems, all that from Krypton. So he's trying to find out who he really is and this and that, okay? But he hears this beep help and this and this, and the computer of this Kryptonian spaceship is able to tell him it's good. Now he's been in space for a long time, so his power is down. And what I did is this. There's a bit of a John Byrne or even a Jerry Olwell when he drew and everything, that he has to wear an oxygen mask. Why? Because he hasn't been surrounded in a yellow sun for a long time. He's in space and he hasn't like his path is going back to Earth. There's not too much, there's no yellow suns to restore his energy. So he's going lower and lower. So Superman comes, he comes out with a mask. And these other guys are trying to kill the other uh, dolphins for whatever reason is. And he gets in there, he gets involved, and he bashes them, this, this, and that, and all that. And in there, one of them dies. Because the dolphins are trying to instigate them, trying to prevent them going into the, the this, this ship, this private ship or whatever, a spaceship. So one dies. So Superman and he, and he fuzz by, and one of the dolphins comes to the with the alpha dolphin comes in there, and be and he could and Superman kind kind of understand the scenario the sincerity that he's saying thank you, and the dolphin kind of licked him on his face and it leaves a saliva spot. Now all of a sudden the saliva spot goes all around Superman and Superman, what the heck is happening? Then one of the dolphins takes takes without Superman was distracted without knowing what's happening. Takes out the, the air mask. Superman goes, what the? And then the, he, he hears voices in his head. He goes there. That's a lot of makes makes us able to communicate with you. And you don't need that mask no more. Because we give you, goes, thank you for saving most of us. Goes, even though one did pass away. He goes, and our gift, we're, we're able to give magical gifts to to people who, who we say deserve it. And you do. He goes, in space now, you don't need the yellow sun. He goes, your the, the what we give to you, your pores are able to take yellow suns from the farthest distance possible. Only the ones that are, give you positive vibes, the negative ones, like the red ones. And explain, how do you know all these things? He goes, we have, we're, we're not gifted for no, no other reasons. That's you know. 
and goes all the yellow rays you're able to absorb is going to absorb only the yellow rays, the ones you need, or even the white suns, whatever it is to, to that, that that powers your energy. So you don't need to to um, you will never downsize like before. So Superman gets his finally finally his powers getting back. He's getting more and more powerful than before. Is he hundred percent? Doesn't 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 know. He goes thank you. Goes it goes and the dolphin goes okay. Go go do what you have to do. So he goes in there. He, he gets all those pirates. He throws them in their spaceship. This and that. He helps all those people of the alien race, whatever. And you could make this alien race be related to some of Superman's storylines and everything. I was thinking of the, the uh, of one of them, but I go too complicated for nothing. Then he breaks the the anchors that that holds of the ship. The other one flies off. The pirate ship uh, example. Uh, it's their example, and um, and Superman, he, like all those guys, all the the pirate the soldiers, whatever you want to call them, they're all knocked out. So knowing that, and Superman, he, the tractor to find out where the spaceship is, he destroys it. So they they can they can go after the, the that cargo ship, whatever the, the spaceship that that the departure. Superman gets on the spaceship, and he and he goes back to Earth, and he says bye to the dolphin before he leaves. Then after 35 hours later, which uh, 35 hours later, which all which do over there would be written negative 45 because Lobo is present, right? You see another spaceship coming in. It's not as big, but smaller, but, but a destructive kind of sense. And you see this big, humongous figure with yellow hands and everything. And he's talking to uh, an intercom. He goes there. Go so what's happening? And it's Mongol. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna spoil it, but in the movie, you're not gonna see him. Okay. So he's talking to the to the to, to, uh, to the the old like microphone. He heard this big dark voice, and he's going he's there. So how's the mission? I'm gonna find out because I came over here. And goes there. None of them. No, none of my my soldiers are responding. Well, find out because you we we we, we look. Like, you're supposed to be supposed to be co-worker. Co work together and goes, You're as powerful. We made you uh, with, with your world, world and it's not because of us. And this and this and that. He goes, Pay your duties. So Mongol goes in there. So who's this person? It's a dark side. Ah, you see where I'm done going with this? But it isn't. It's somebody else. But the, you know, you're going to find near near the end kind of sense. Or not this. Well, yeah, give or take. So Mongol goes in there and he saw all the soldiers knocked out and this and that. And Mongol goes there, what happened? He goes, ah, oh, this guy came over here, this alien form, he came in, he did this to us. Did you succeed in the mission? He goes, uh, yeah, we did, but then, and he gives the stone, but, but, uh, but we did fail on the other thing, this that. He goes, but the main one, yeah, 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 he got it. He looks at he, he looks at one of the soldiers, goes, what are you? He goes, I'm up this and this and that, and he's below the pirate, the captain, and everything. Mongol kills all, 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 all of the big guys, the big leaders, because they didn't do his jobs right. Okay, all you guys, your technicians in this, he gives them the, the, the stone, goes to fly to the sector, give it to that, that person, and go, the person that was looking for them is that, and goes, uh, yes, master, what, what are you going to do? He goes, I'm going to follow this trail. I'm going to find out who this, 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 this super alien guy is, and I'm going to show nobody, nobody um, dissects my zone without my permission. He goes there. He goes. He goes. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what kind of warrior he is. And trust me, he's gonna suffer through my hand. So he goes to his spaceship. He's flying towards, of course, Earth. And the other one is flying towards uh, what, uh, whatever he has to go with that, uh, that crystal, mystical crystal power and everything. So Lobo kind of seen all that. So now his intention. He go back to the present. He goes. Hmm. So he goes. So he sees the other dolphins are alive. He goes. Okay. So, which one you want to go for that one? He goes, you want me to go to to, uh, to help the, the guy who saved you guys? He goes, yeah, yeah. Okay, he did you a favor. He goes, he goes, I want him a favor. So I'm gonna go there and goes there. I'm gonna repay that favor with that this this, this alien uh, metaphor or whatever, is alien form, for example. So he's flying towards Earth now. So that's all happening over over this and that. Now Lex and his team are in the Fortress of Solitude. So they open the computers and that Kelix is is shut down because when Superman left, he shut down the whole system because he, he goes, who's gonna find this fortress? Who's gonna be there? So he goes, down, 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 uh, shut down, relax yourself and this and that, and goes, don't interfere, in no, no human things and that. So Brainiac and plus the Brainiac and all these people, well, his name is Milton there. 
he's a hacker and he's, he's able to and Lex never goes like, how do you know all these cryptogen? Uh, ah, I, l I learned through ling linguistic and plus my power via yeah, telepath and everything. I'm actually seeing everything, but he's lying. There's a true story to this later on, and he's finding out. And they and they and they're able to go into the fortress. They go into the fortress. There they see all this uh, thing, and then Lex goes like, he's not human. He's an alien. That bloody piece of beep. He's not. A, he's not a, a, meta, a meta human. He's a bloody alien. So Lex goes, oh, I'm gonna destroy him and this and this and this. Goes, but but I'm not gonna destroy him in court net because people that goes uh, these metropolis are like, well, he just saved us and said, goes, no, 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 I'm gonna destroy him and kill him and damn it tell the world the truth, whatever. And he goes, there must be powers and everything. And and so Brainiac goes in there and he sees this thing, uh, well, Milton, because he's gonna come Brainiac later on, but which Brainiac? So he sees this piece, it's written brain, he like translated from the Kryptonians. Brain is something, something. So like, you can't figure out the last two words or letters or whatever. And it's the one with the Brainiac wears the circle, the one there with all circles on his head and it's webbed together and all that with what them. So he puts that. He goes into the computer. It makes him smart. He's like, da, 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 da. now he understands everything. But he doesn't really read what, what, what was written before. So he's going this and that. He goes on the computers and that. And he goes, goes, Lex, I found what you want. He opens a push button. The force just opens his room. And it's all armory of the Kryptonian days. Those big armors, robots there, where the where the, the pilot goes inside and, and controls his robot, this and that. And all the soldiers go, wow, look at these war. <clears throat> and he goes, okay, I'm thinking the biggest one. Nothing goes, no, no, no. He goes, the, the biggest one is not the most powerful. I'm going to give this to, to, to your foot soldiers. What do you mean? That purple and green one over there? That's the ultimate one. That's the most powerful of them all. Cause get out of here! It's human. It, Cause it's it's a uh, human size. Well, it's gonna go to your form and everything. Cause you can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. So it goes. But I'm, I'll even fix it because knowing that what Kryptonians are Superman's and everything's DNA is, is that I'm able to find create a formula that you actually it's a green liquid. That can actually you can actually punch him this and this. And you'll feel everything. Will make him weak and everything. You can actually beat him. So Lex goes, no problem. So in the armor and everything, with Milton able to control all the computer and everything, he cr creates a kind of veins into the system that he puts liquid kryptonite in there. We're going through the flow. Yeah, you see what I'm going with there? So so the cost that the uniform or the armor, whatever it is, even though example it's able, it's half the strength of Superman. But when he punches, it hurts him more. Then if, for uh, example, uh, another Superman or uh, would hit him, kind of sense. Because it's it's laced with kryptonite. And the more he fights with Lex Luthor, the more weaker he becomes. And the more Lex Luthor is, is able to, is, is punch and blows, hurts Superman even more than before. I'm going ahead of myself. But anyway, so they think all that, that. All of a sudden, the forge is going beep, beep, beep. And, and, uh, and Lex goes, what's happening? Okay, you guys, get everything else because 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 the, the fortress is waking up in within a couple of minutes. If you won't, if you won't get out of here right now, all those armors and everything kind of thing, it's gonna find its way to bypass you, me, and everything. And then so so Brainiac is trying to leave and everything, but all of a sudden his brain gets goes crazy with all the and he goes, "What are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna try to get more, as much more information as possible." He gets a brain out, a brain burnout. And he goes, he gets numb and everything, and he gets his brainiac and this, this, that, you know, all this one word, and he just like he just faints down. So Lex goes there. Uh, people, what well, you know, look, 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 just grab him. Let's get him out of here so they have, they have no proof that we've been here. Now let's get out of this fortress. Let's get all those, those armor. Lex Luthor's armor is already ready and everything. He puts it on. One of the guys grabs uh, Milton, future brainiac, Milton Moss Finder, and he leaves it in, 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 in a dark alley when they reach Metropolis. And the reason the fortress opens is because Superman came back. So as soon as Superman's energy was back, the fortress woke up. You know, so Helix is op is awake and he and he's trying to find out something is wrong and this and that. He's trying to uh, verify what happened. This and that. He's going to data and everything. Certain data, Brainiac or uh, Milton was bypassing it. So it's thing Helix moving longer than it's supposed to because yeah, because Brainiac is, is a genius kind of sense. You know. So Superman lands because there's an alert in Metropolis. That's why he then he secretly put his space somewhere else. Parasite. 
because this person was absorbing people's energy. They were almost, like example, close to death. But nobody was getting killed and everything. So Superman is, is kind of fighting with the parasite. But he doesn't know what the, what the parasite is. Apparently, all of a sudden, when he touches Superman, he feels all the energy and he becomes that pink monster and everything. And he goes, I got to feed. I got to have more and this and this and that. So Superman is trying to pull him out and he's getting weaker and everything. And Parasite, all of a sudden, he's about to kill Superman. He's, uh, he's about to like go towards the, the absorbing blow to absorb all, the, all his power as possible. All of a sudden, you see this big, humongous white hand grab his head, look at him, and just twist it and kill him. And it's Mongol with his armor and everything, you know? And Superman goes, what'd you kill him for? What a weak... And I'm not supposed to fight with you? And he goes, what a weak person. Because he goes, there, look... Me and you, I'm going to give you a beacon where you're not going to fight against each other. And it's not. And Superman goes, and Superman is weak and everything. And he, and he, go, he goes towards uh, Mongol. And he goes, goes ah, I'm going to stop. He's trying to go there, but he, like, he's not as fast as before. Strong as before. And Mongol just whacks him one. And Superman rams into a building and you see blood coming out of his mouth and everything. Mongol goes there. He goes, look, regain your strength. We scanned you before. We know your, your total power, this and this and this. He goes there. He goes there. He goes, we power your suck because I'm going to wear an armor to, to, to meet you when you're, you're, you're at full. Make sure you're at full peak because if not, you'll, he goes, you get destroyed completely. So Mango leaves. Superman's bleeding and everything. And he's and he like, he's trying to do recuperate and everything. Parasite is dead. That's it. We don't need him for another movie. That's it. That's all. And so Superman flies off and everything. Not knowing that scientist passes by or a person, but he ends up being a scientist, and he takes all the all the blood of Superman and he puts it in the capsule, all these things like that, and he disappears. Story comes back later on, no problem. So the whole thing is after Zab. So comes to a point, the beacon goes on. As soon as Superman is at pull force, Mongol goes goes to the computer because the his robot, his spaceship is computerly computerly controlled by computers, and him. And he tells the robot, okay, give me um, the alpha armor. And the computer goes, why don't you take the ultimate? No, 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 no. Look, we scanned his power, this and this and this. He goes, I wanna, I wanna fight to the thrill. He goes, I'm not I'm not the emperor of war war world for nothing. And he goes, the ultimate is too powerful. He goes, okay, I goes, there's there's no fun into it. I wanna enjoy the fight. So he wears. Not the ultimate, the alpha, alpha armor. So you see this big thing open. See all different kind of armors that he probably stole from all the other planets that, that, that he conquered. Or he just, well, went there, fought whoever was the most powerful person. They took their armor and their armory and everything. And he took it for himself. But like a fair fight, whatever. So he wore that. So the computer does, it goes, it does not compute. Why would he go that way? Because he is a pure fighter. He loves the thrill of the fight. So it comes to a point that they have to fight each other. And they end up fighting this and that. To make a point, and Mongol is fighting. And Mongol has one, one, one of his stones, his uh, gloves, for example, has a, one stone that's magical, kind of said. So whenever he hits that one there on Superman, it hurts him. So they're fighting this and that, and Mongol has all this. And his army makes him to fly with this flying disc and, that, and also fly like as he's standing up or something. So the fighting is getting really bang bang in the Superman, but Superman is getting the upper hand after a certain point. Mongol is starting to realize that he made a mistake. Like Superman is more powerful than he than he than he acknowledged it. Because he was always suppressing his ultimate power. Because he didn't want to cause great damages around the buildings and everything and all that. So all of a sudden the Superman is getting the upper hand and everything. But Mongol, because of that magical glove. Is, is getting the upper fight. And I'm going to give a little break for now for part one, and I'm going to meet you at part two, okay? Ciao, guys. And I'll get you before I say ciao. Subscribe. Give me your pro. I always forget. Give me your pros and cons. Likes or no likes. Whatever. Subscribe. You know, or us. You know, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be obsolete after that. So I'm going to let you guys now for part one, and I'm going to part two. Okay, ciao, guys. Geo's out.